The Jerusalem Post reports, 69 years after Israel declared Jerusalem as its capital and 23 years after the U.S. Congress passed a law mandating that Washington move its embassy there, the U.S. will formally open its embassy in the city on Monday at 4 p. M. In a move Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu declared as momentous. President Donald Trump is making history, Netanyahu said Sunday at a reception in the foreign ministry attended by Trump's daughter, Ivanka, and his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, who are leading the U.S. delegation to the embassy opening. We are deeply grateful, and our people will be eternally grateful, for his bold decision. Netanyahu said Trump's decision reflects a simple truth. Jerusalem has been the capital of the Jewish people for the past 3,000 years, has been the capital of our state for the past 70 years, and will remain our capital for all time. Thank you President Trump for your bold decision. Thank you for making the alliance between Israel and the United States stronger than ever. In a sign that not all in the world agreed with that simple truth, of the 86 embassies invited to the reception at the embassy, attended by some 800 people, only 33 countries sent delegations. In addition, while four U.S. senators are on hand for the embassy opening, as are 10 congressmen, they are all Republicans. Of the 28 EU countries, only four sent representatives to the ministry reception, Austria, the Czech Republic, Hungary, and Romania. Austrian Ambassador Martin Weiss, acknowledging that by showing up at the event he was stepping out of line with most of the EU, said his presence was a sign that Austria recognizes that this is a day of joy for Israelis. He added, however, that Austria does not currently have any plans to move its embassy. Netanyahu, however, called on all countries to do just that. Move your embassies to Jerusalem because it is the right thing to do, move your embassies to Jerusalem because it advances peace, he said, because you can't base peace on a foundation of lies, you base peace on a foundation of truth. He said the truth is that not only has Jerusalem been the capital of the Jewish people since the first millennium BC and the capital of the state since its inception, the truth is that under any peace agreement that you could possibly imagine, Jerusalem will remain Israel's capital. According to Netanyahu, it took a President Trump to enunciate the simple basic truth and said that once it is out there, it will spread 